All right, Cosmopolitan Las Vegas, the coolest hotel on the Strip, probably the coolest hotel in America, and quite possibly the coolest hotel in the world. Normally, I stay at hotels for three nights, but this is the most legendary Vegas trip ever. So for the Cosmo, I'm staying for four. I'm gonna do everything in this video that I didn't do in my last one and more. I'm gonna take you to four amazing restaurants. We're gonna to go to both pools, and I'm going to introduce you to some secret drinks at the Chandelier Bar. Basically, we're gonna have as much fun as possible. This is the ultimate Cosmopolitan Hotel Stay and Review. All right, so you saw a little bit of the action. That is just the beginning. Let's get up to the room and get this trip started. All right, inside the room of my terrace studio uh, with a premium view. And a premium view it is. 52nd floor, that is stunning. I'll show you that in just a second. I'm going to do a very quick room rundown. You know, Vegas is about the room, so I have to show you the room, but it's not all about the room in Vegas. Plus, I have a huge itinerary to get to. So I'm gonna do a standalone room tour in a different video. But for now, let's get through this terrace studio. Here is the bathroom. Uh, I had this door open because I wanted to start with the shower. This shimmering, glittering tile is oh so cool. Very, very large in here. Using Five Wits products. Here is the bathtub and there are some mini jets in there. Uh, lastly, dual vanity, split vanity, more Five Wits products. And that is about it. And this leads into the entertainment portion, the sitting portion of the room. Dedicated TV. A huge owl couch. You could sleep two people on that couch. It's actually not too bad. So if you did want to jam three to four people in this room, which you could, a couple people could easily sleep there for a night or two. I love the large wallpaper artwork. This is a game changer. I actually prefer the mini fridge to the mini bar. You can stock up leftovers. This is oh so critical. All right, and then moving on into the bedroom portion. These cosmopolitan beds are not my favorite. They are average at best. If you need a good night's sleep, I'd have to advise against the Cosmopolitan because the beds are, like I said, just average at best. And then we have the best feature of this Cosmopolitan property, the balcony, 52nd floor. This is what you pay for for the premium view. Gorgeous views of the Bellagio Fountain, the Eiffel Tower. You can see all the way down to Encore Wind, Resort World. This is a fantastic place to spend some time. Even though at Cosmo, I don't spend a lot of time out on the balcony, it's here if you need it.
right, I just finished dinner at STK. You probably did not see that coming. Those of you that follow the channel know it's not my favorite spot, but I'm glad I went back. Uh, there were some pros, there were some cons. I'll talk all about that tomorrow. But right now I'm off for post dinner drinks. I'm thinking my favorite bar in all of Cosmo, Click. So STK and I have a long history. I've spent a ton of time at that restaurant. It is the coolest restaurant here at Cosmopolitan, and I think it is the coolest, the coolest steakhouse here in Vegas. I personally have spent so much time there, I'm kind of over it. I think the concept is a little played out, but I did go back and I'm glad I did. You know, STK does have a lot of positives. Like I said, it is ultra cool. So if you're looking for that it place, look no further than STK. Great crowd. So if you're in the people watching, STK is gonna be the place for you. The ambiance and the decor is beautiful and plus that's accentuated with a DJ. So if you're just looking for a really lively and effervescent place to eat, STK is the spot. Then after dinner, I strolled down to Click. Click is in the middle of the casino floor. It's my favorite place to get a cocktail in all of Cosmopolitan. It's mostly lounge, but it does have a bit of a bar feel. It's more bar earlier, and then it turns into a lounge later. My two favorite drinks are the Don Sandia. That is the tequila shot in the hollowed out cucumber. You take the shot, then eat the cucumber. I think that's a really neat idea. And then also the watermelon sugar. They put a watermelon ice cube in the glass, then they smoke it, then they pour in purple gin, and then as the watermelon melts, it changes the complexity of the entire cocktail. So cool. So that was my night last night. I wanted to do the coolest restaurant, STK, and the coolest lounge, Click. Now it's day number two, and it's time to get down to the pool. Okay, evening number two here at Cosmopolitan. I'm off to another amazing and really cool restaurant. Before that, let's talk about the pool action today. I went to the Boulevard Pool. Remember, there are two pools here at Cosmo. I hope to go to the other pool either tomorrow or the next day, but after hanging out at the Boulevard Pool, I'm not sure I want to. This place was ultra cool, really special, a ton of fun. So there are two pools that comprise the Boulevard Pool area. There is a smaller, more relaxed, more chill pool. That's where I hung out. And then there is the master pool. Um, it's an infinity type pool. And that's really where all the action is. That's where the bar is. Uh, that's where all the cabanas are. And then you have stadium seating, kind of stadium seating. You have runged seating that overlooks the pool. And there are probably maybe three to four rungs. So if you climb up to that third or fourth rung, you get some privacy from the pool area. You can also keep your eye on the pool area, check out the action. And if you get high enough, you also have some pretty cool views of the Las Vegas Strip. So I am definitely looking forward to more pool time during this trip, but right now it's time to get to dinner. I am going to one of the coolest restaurants in all of Vegas. And at one time, this is my favorite spot at the Cosmopolitan. I am going to Beauty and Essex.
All right, I just finished dinner at Beauty and Essex and I loved every single second of it. I was so happy to go back. I had no idea that Beauty and Essex was owned by Tao Group. That's probably why it's so amazing. I'm gonna tell you all about it tomorrow, but right now I'm gonna head to Chandelier Bar. I'm gonna order the two secret drinks. Yes, the two secret drinks that are off menu. I can't wait to show them to you. Beauty in Essex is owned by Tao Group, like I said, I just found that out, but no wonder why it's so amazing. It's owned by Tao. Uh, the restaurant is a speakeasy restaurant. You've heard of speakeasy bars before, but when have you heard of a speakeasy restaurant? Well, I introduce you to Beauty and Essex. On the outside, it looks like a jewelry store slash high-end pawn shop, but that's just the storefront. And you can actually buy stuff at that store. Um, it's not just props, you can buy some items, but really the magic lies beyond that storefront. You get beyond it, and then that's where the dark. I've never seen a darker restaurant in my life. It's so dim, you can barely see, and it's amazing in there. It's cool, the vibe is just really laid back, the staff is really friendly. There are multiple rooms to dine in, and of course, I ate at the bar. My two favorite dishes were the meatballs, and then most importantly, the tomato soup and grilled cheese dumplings. Wow, if I wasn't doing this video, I'd go back there right now. I'd skip Scarpetta, which is where I'm going, and order four rounds of those. Those were the absolute best thing on the entire menu. After that, I went to Chandelier Bar and my goal was to order the two secret off-menu drinks just for you. The one drink, which is the one I'm gonna talk about, the Verbena, one cocktail of the year for the entire globe. This thing is crazy. It comes with a Szechuan flower and then you put the flower in your mouth and the flower is like half Novocaine, half Pop Rocks. That's not what the flower is composed of, but that's what it does to your mouth. So think Novocaine meets Pop Rocks. Your mouth goes numb and then it gets all tingly and this lasts for like five to 10 minutes. And what that tingling does is really accentuates and embellishes the drink. If you've never had it before, go to the Chandelier Bar. You can only order the Verbena on levels two and three. I promise you the experience is unforgettable. And then the name of the second drink was called We're All Mad Here which is pretty true for anyone who's staying at the Cosmopolitan. This drink can only be ordered on the second level. So with the Verbena, you can order it on the second and third level, and then on the We're All Mad here, you can only order it on the second level. So if you're looking for one of these cocktails, make sure you go to the appropriate floor. Again, both are off menu, both are sensational. Uh, the We're All Mad here is basically a gin and tonic. It starts out blue, and then when you add the other potion, I think it's like pineapple juice, it turns into a purple color. I'm gonna switch things up a little bit tonight. Usually I do dinner and then drinks, but tonight I'm planning to do drinks and then dinner. I am gonna to go to Scarpetta tonight for dinner. That is the Italian place here on site. But before that, I wanna to try to uncover a speakeasy that I just learned about. I guess according to the people at Beauty in Essex, there's a speakeasy buried behind block 16, which is the high-end food court here at the Cosmopolitan. Apparently it's on the very back wall and it looks like a janitor's door, but there's a picture of a donkey on it. I don't know, it sounds a little far-fetched, but it sounds really cool. I'm gonna go try to find it, and then it's off to dinner.
I just finished up at Ghost Donkey. It was as described. Ghost Donkey is the speakeasy behind Block 16. It's literally a janitor's door with a picture of a donkey on it. You would never find this place unless you're directed to go to it like I was. I would describe Ghost Donkey as a Mexican tiki bar. That's right, a Mexican tiki bar. Basically, they're really, really fat on tequilas. I had four phenomenal drinks. I'll tell you all about it tomorrow, but right now I'm late for dinner at Scarpetta. All right, good morning. It is my last full day here at Cosmopolitan. I got my pool attire on, the sun is out. I'm about to head down to the Chelsea pool which used to be the bamboo pool, but now it's called the Chelsea pool. Before I do that, let's talk about last night. Let's talk about Ghost Donkey, and let's talk about Scarpetta. Ghost Donkey was as I was told. I was gonna say as advertised, but it's not advertised. It's as I was told. It is a speakeasy that is buried behind Block 16. Block 16 is the high-end food court on the second level right next to like Marquee uh, Day Club and Marquee the Night Club. You would never find it unless you're looking for it. You literally have to cut through all the traffic, all the booths, and on the very back wall uh, of Block 16, there's like this janitor's door with a picture of a donkey on it. That is Ghost Donkey, really intimate. Uh, I would say maybe six seats at the bar and then like four booths. So space is definitely scarce and at a premium. I would recommend getting there early. I've heard at night it turns into like a mosh pit. Not like actually, but I mean like that, it's, it's that dense. So definitely get there early if you want to enjoy a drink and not have people step on your feet. It was really cool. It was like a Mexican speakeasy tiki bar. If you combine all those three things, that's what it is. They're really heavy into tequilas. Um, I had four drinks. My favorite one was the Burro Tropical, and that's because I got this cool little rainbow donkey. This is now my trip mascot. I love this thing. After that, I went to Scarpetta. Uh, Scarpetta had a tough act to follow because it just went to Beauty in Essex the night before, which I think is the absolute best restaurant here at Cosmopolitan. And right before that, right before this trip, I ate at Carbone, which I think is probably the best Italian place in all of Vegas. So it had some tough competition. It was decent. I have eaten at Scarpetta before, and it was like the same experience. The dining room is really beautiful. The bar area is really long. It is a really comfortable and cool place to have an Italian dinner. The standout of the night to me was the duck and foie gras ravioli. Never had duck and foie gras ravioli, and I must say, it was quite delicious. All right, my last night at the Cosmopolitan. I can't believe we're here. I have another big night planned tonight. I'm going to a restaurant that I've never been to before, and it's run by one of my favorite chefs. So I'll get to that in a second. Let's talk about the pool today, the Chelsea pool. It will always be the bamboo pool to me, but I guess it's the Chelsea pool now. It is so much different than the Boulevard pool, and I like it. It is the quieter, calmer, more reserved, more relaxed pool. The Boulevard pool is where all the action is. That's where you're gonna have your cabanas, that's where you're gonna have your music, that's just where the energy is going to be. But if you're looking for something the opposite of that, but you still wanna be at the Cosmopolitan, go to the Chelsea pool. Now I'm at the Boulevard pool. It is like, what, a five or 10 minute walk to get over to the Chelsea pool? I would still make that walk on another day because I really enjoyed my time out there. And here we are, I'm off to dinner. I am going to Jaleo. Jaleo is a restaurant I've never been to. It is run by Chef Jose Andres, world famous chef. He has one of my favorite restaurants of all time in Bazaar. This looks to be one of his more approachable dining options. Usually his stuff is really high end, so I'm looking forward to seeing what this is gonna be like.
Okay, evening update. I came up here to drop off my leftovers. Deja vu all over again. I think I've done that pretty much every night. Uh, check out this beer real quick. This is my brand new favorite beer. Uh, it is an August Steiner Brau München Eidelstoff. And here's the coolest thing. This is from Germany. And I am 87.5% German, for those of you that did not know that. In fact, why would you know that? Uh, but here's the neatest thing. Its initials are JW on here. Why there's a JW on here, I don't know, because it's an August Steiner Brau München Eidelstoff. I need to research why there's a JW. But I'm JW. I'm pretty much pure German. This has like really cool black and gold packaging. This is my new favorite beer. This is gonna be an expensive one though. I'm gonna to have to work on importing this somehow. Can you get any more cool with Spanish tapas than Jose Andres at the Cosmopolitan? The answer to that is no. You cannot get a cooler Spanish tapas experience than Jose Andres at the Cosmopolitan. I loved it. I like Spanish tapas because you can work your way around the menu. I can't even count how many dishes I had. My favorite were the oxtail croquettes. And I also like the cana de cabra, which was a goat's milk cheese. I ordered three cheeses and I got a goat's milk, a sheep's milk, and a cow's milk. I did not even try to do that. I got one of each and I like the goat's milk best, the cana de cabra. So besides my brand new favorite beer and the goat's milk cheese and the oxtail croquettes, I just want to talk about the atmosphere very quickly. It was lively, it was bright, it was fun, it was energetic. It was just a really fun place to eat. If you're looking for great food, but you don't want to do the traditional fine dining or go to maybe the other places that Cosmopolitan has to offer, this is a great alternative. So it's my last night here at Cosmopolitan and I am exhausted. Not only is it my fourth night here, it's my 22nd night in Vegas. I would like to go down to Vesper Bar, but I'm undecided. If you see that footage, then I went and we'll talk about it in the morning. If not, then I'll see you in the morning and I'll give you my final thoughts on this property. So yes, I did end up going down to Vesper Bar. I would not disappoint you. I'm like the hotel version of a human Labrador. Never gonna let you down. I just went down there for a post-dinner drink and that's really what Vesper Bar is designed for. A pre-dinner drink or a post-dinner drink. It's just a fantastic place to chill. It is definitely probably the chillest place to get a drink at the Cosmopolitan. The cocktail list is classical, but they are so well done. I had a Spirit of St. Louis. It's an egg white drink. Surprise, surprise. It was delicious. Surprise, surprise. Okay, the Cosmopolitan. I've stayed here probably at least 15 times, probably closer to 20 now. I just rated this hotel a little while ago. My rating is not going to change. Spoiler alert, it's gonna be the same. But I'm gonna share some additional insights. Basically, I'm gonna talk about who this hotel is for and who this hotel is not for. It's for someone that wants the coolest scene in Vegas, literally the coolest scene. It is more coolness than classy, but there is some classy to it. But if you're looking for that ultra exquisite refined experience that you may find at Wynn and Palazzo, you may be a little disappointed in the Cosmopolitan. What the Cosmopolitan may lack in refinement, it makes up for in fun. This is definitely the most happening scene in Vegas. So if you want to see, or if you want to be seen, this is the spot for you. The Cosmopolitan is a cornucopia of fun. There are so many entertainment options to keep you busy here. You have Marquee Nightclub, Marquee Beach Club, The Show Opium. You have two pools. You have amazing restaurants such as Zuma, Blue Ribbon, STK, Beauty and Essex, Scarpetta, Jaleo, and more. And if you prefer a liquid diet, it gets no better than the Cosmopolitan. It has the coolest, best, and most fun bar and lounge scene in all of Vegas. Again, this is the it spot to be. So you have Click, Vesper Bar, and of course, the famous Chandelier Bar. So who's the Cosmopolitan for? I'm gonna say between the ages of 25 and 55, young to mid adults, those looking for a true Cosmopolitan experience, the hotel is very true to its name. Those that wanna stay in the coolest hotel in Vegas and have access to the most fun, the highest amount of energy, a litany of options, and really just the epitome of cool are gonna love the Cosmopolitan. Who the Cosmopolitan is not for, it's not for families and not for kids. Unless you want your kids to go through puberty overnight, do not bring them to the Cosmopolitan. The Cosmopolitan is five star, but I would say barely. The remodel did help it out quite a bit, but it still is on the lower rung of five star. People that are accustomed to the luxury and the sophistication that you're gonna find at Wynn, Encore, Palazzo Venetian, and even Aria may be a little disappointed when they step into the rooms here at Cosmopolitan. I would absolutely recommend 
getting the premium view in the Boulevard Tower here at the Cosmopolitan. I recommend the Boulevard Tower. I've stayed in both multiple times. The Boulevard Tower has the better access to the restaurants. It has the better pool. The gym is 24 seven. And of course you get the stunning views into the Vegas Strip. All right, so overall the Cosmopolitan uh, location, it's pretty much perfect, it's city center. Some argue that city center is the best location in Vegas. I prefer the Cosmopolitan's location to Aria because it's closer to the better part of the rest of the strip. The Cosmopolitan is the coolest hotel in Vegas. It has attitude, it has edge, it has moxie, it's quirky, it's fun, it's provocative, it's seductive. It's not for everyone, but it's a hotel I think you absolutely have to try at least once. You're either gonna love the Cosmopolitan or you're going to hate the Cosmopolitan. Usually it's either or. In my experience, most people end up loving it, but you have to see for yourself. It definitely isn't for everyone. So with that being said, with all that taken into account, I'm going to give it a three. I'm going to recommend it. So I absolutely recommend you come check out the coolest hotel in Vegas. No matter if you love it or if you hate it, you will never forget your stay at the Cosmo.